It's a privilege to be here today for this very special fixture. The interest has been enormous. Every time they meet each other, these two teams, it is a very special day. Hi there, everybody. Thank you for joining us at St Mary's Stadium in Southampton today, the venue for our game, which Alan Smith will describe along with me, Martin Tyler. Southampton in action today, and they play Bournemouth. The visiting team have been undoubtedly the best defensive team in the division, but that defence will be put to the test here. No, I think uh, the home side will have to produce something special to break through this defence. Here's the Southampton team for you. Mario Lamina starts looking to recover his form. And they've gone with two up front today. Bournemouth are going to go with this team today. Well, it's 4-4-2 for them today, but we think the middle four might be a diamond, Alan. Yeah, and it gives them a bit of solidity in the middle of the park. And I think uh, the onus is on the full-backs to provide the width in this shape. First touch was poor. Good vision. Real chance. Mbappe! An excellent chance. More than matched by the goalkeeper, who's diffused the situation. Oh, great agility, great reflexes there, and uh, denying the opposition any knockdowns as well. Played in by William. He's got it away, and that's what you have to do. Lerma. Here's the shot. The ball's loose. Goalkeeper made the save, but he couldn't hold it. I still don't know how he kept that out, Martin. What a stop to keep this all square. That's a good block. Reflected behind. A clear corner. In from William from the corner, cleared away by the defender. Test of his control now. Intercepted well. And it will be a free kick here. Not gone for goal, gone short. Good block. It is a corner. They're going to have to defend it. Corner's taken. Defended well. Lerma. Cook. He went in well. Mario Lemina. Tom Rogic. Elianusi. Good screening. And he's kept the ball. Diego Costa, slipping it through, he's in, Diego Costa, on to, must take the lead here, which they do in good style. Now uh, they played some good football leading up to that Martin and thoroughly deserved that goal. You have to be there to score it and he ran in and got his reward, just couldn't miss. No, it was a poacher's effort. The final finish wasn't difficult, but to get there, it took a little bit of instinct. Well, it's been tight before that goal, but now the manager, he's so pleased because I reckon he feels his team can go on and win this. And that has opened the scoring, 1-0 here. Goalkeeper is there for him, and he's played it to him. Elianusi. Mm. 
moving forward with some danger to the opposition now they're here. Here's William. Mbappe. Trying to catch the other team out with a quick break here. Here's Lamina. Well defended, not just getting across, he thought quickly as well. Threads it through. Needs to stay cool now. Diego Costa! Well, at long last, Alan, he's finally scored. Well, he's broken his duck, Martin, and uh, that will be a huge relief. Well, he gets the credit. And the credit was being in the right place at the right time. Yeah, I think the easiest goal he will score this entire season. Restarting at 2-0. Goal for Burnley, number 17. Tom Rogic. Vestergaard. And here they are on the attack. Put in from the wide area. Defender did well to get to it, but he hasn't really finished the job. Corner now for Southampton. In goes the corner. And here's the shot. Difficult skill, good effort. Yeah, timed it perfectly, as you have to do with those volleys. They could have got through there, but the defender was absolutely on. Shots on here. Credit to them, they're still having a go here. Although if they got that one in, it really would have been game on. Yeah, I mean, the two goals down, but they haven't played badly. And if that had gone in, that'd have gained some faith and confidence. Cook. Good chunk of added time here, three minutes. three minutes. Diego Costa. Mbappe. Great interception. Well, listen to this, you can feel the frustration. Half-time now, and 2-0 is the score at the break. At half-time, in such a big encounter. So here we go with the second half. Diego Costa. William, room for the cross. And it's a shot now. That's a spectacular miss. Such a strong shot from so close. Well, that was wild. It was rash. It was very poor. Lema. Diego Costa. Threads it through. William. Mbappe. And there's the cutback. Well, he's tried for his second goal of the game. Keepers got the better of him this time. Well, you thought there was only one winner there, but in the end it was the, the keeper that came forward and did the business. Coming up on EA Sports, it's an FA Cup fixture for Southampton. They'll be facing Hull City away from home. Yeah, I've had a lot of supporters get excited about crafting the through pass could get the ball into the box now danger was looming large but they've got themselves back on the ball no time for an extra touch after the tackle it's out of harm's way an opponent around him that's good screening of the football what about Bournemouth's next game yeah, they're playing Everton in the next match in the FA Cup. Uh, Good vision here. Just the keeper to beat. Oh, it's got to be. Not the kind of save you make after training every day for that kind of situation from close range. Just mindful, perhaps, of a fitness issue. Diego Costa, who's done really well for his team today, is being substituted now. Well, he's done his bit. He got the goal that put his team in the lead. Can they hold that lead? And in he goes with the tackle. Here's Lemina. Southampton lining up a substitution now. 
Oriol Romeo. Well, they're building steadily here, working away. Closing minutes for Southampton, and they're in trouble. Well, the time for patient short passing has stopped, I think, because boot one is the order of the day now as they load the box. Sloppy work, really. Oriol Romeo. They could have got through there, but the defender was absolutely on top of his game. Oriol Romeo. Elianusi. Well, they had the runner going through, and the pass wasn't quite right, was it? It was too strong. Mbappe. Comes to get it to feet. He's come rather deep to do that, the main striker. Going forward well. Shots on! And the goalkeeper very much on his game today. And that will be a corner. Well, I knew you have the quality and the width. That's what this lad brings. You've got a special talent. And uh, it's been uh, a special showing as he's replaced now. The crowd recognising that. Yeah, what he's done, he, he's hugged the touchline and he's stretched that opposing back line, created space for teammates inside and vital performance from him. Time nearly up here, and just throw it forward a bit to their next game. Well, Southampton go up against Hull City in the next one. Really don't think they'll be happy at all. The manager, in fact, I think he's furious with them. And look at the clock now, three minutes to go. Looking to use the full width of the pitch in this attack. Lema. Now, this is an interesting attack. The referee has indicated it's Smith. there will be a minimum of two minutes. Just making sure that each... And here's the shot. That's a brilliant goal. Well, it's got to go down, I think, as one of the goals of the season because it wasn't just about the finish, it was that marvellous build-up play. So many players involved in it. Well, it's just a footnote to the match, really. It confirms the win. Yeah, the goal score would be pleased. Another one for, for his tally, makes on the match here. Another angle on it here. Well, we're in the last few minutes now, and the die has been cast in this game, really. It's all over. And there is the final whistle. Well, we thought it would be a lot closer than it's turned out to be, but they don't mind. They're delirious, really, with this derby result. Yeah, I didn't see this one coming. Thought it might be quite tight, but uh, they really did play well, this side, and took the chances when they dropped up.